Mobile Trader – How to use the XM iPhone Trader application part 1 In this video, we are going to demonstrate the complete set of steps for using the XM iPhone Trader application on your iPhone. After you log into the XM MT4 iPhone Trader platform, you will see the MT4 Mobile Trader interface. The MT4 platform interface consists of five main window tabs – Quotes, Chart, Trade, History and Settings. Under the first tab, called Quotes, you can see the list of active currencies. Once the Quotes window opens, you can see two buttons at the top – Simple and Advanced. These buttons allow two different view modes. The simple view mode only shows you the instrument name and current bid and ask price, while the advanced view mode also shows you the current spread of an instrument, the time when the price was last updated, and the high and low values of market prices for that specific day. On the top left side, you can see the edit button. By clicking this button, you can see the list of active currencies tracked by MT4. Here you can choose to remove any of the existing trading symbols by selecting the symbol of your choice and clicking inside the empty circle on its left side. Following this, a red tick mark will appear. Having selected the symbols you wish to remove, click the bin symbol on the top right side of the window to permanently remove them. On the main quotes window, you will see that these particular instruments have been successfully removed from the instruments list. The plus button on the top right side of the quotes window displays the groups of all available instruments. By clicking this button, you will be redirected to the groups window section. If you wish to go back to the main quotes window, simply hit the blue arrow button located on the top left side of the groups section. Currently, there are several groups available. Each group contains several currency symbols. The arrow at the top left side of the application takes you back to the main quotes window startup screen. In order to have the properties of a specific instrument displayed, simply click the I button located on the far right side of that instrument. To show you how this works, we will choose the Euro USD pair. By clicking the I button, you can see detailed information on this specific instrument. The Group 5 button on the top left side of the current window takes you back to the details of that particular group. The Green Plus button next to each instrument allows you to add that specific instrument to your list. Once you have added the instrument of your choice, it will be automatically removed from the Groups list. After this, click Done to go back to the main quotes window, where you can see your newly added symbol displayed on the instruments list. By clicking a selected symbol once, a new mini window pops up, containing several options for that particular instrument. In our example, this is EURUSD. Now let's view these options starting from the last one. By clicking the Details option button, you can view the properties of the selected symbol. The chart button takes you to the main chart window of that particular symbol, which will be explained further on. We will also explain the trade button to see how orders are placed. End of part 1. Thank you for watching.